Yeah. G'day, it's Bill here from Side Real Trading. So you've been using your Wii Macro Rail to get some nice focused stacked images of late. Reversing the lens is a great way of getting closer to your subject, but... Remember the astrophotographer's creed? I want more. As you get closer and closer to your subject, it gets bigger and bigger, but eventually it gets to the point where it fills the frame. What do you do then? You do a mosaic. A mosaic is when you take images of less than the whole subject and then you stitch them together to form the final one. To do this you need some way of suspending your camera over the top of your subject while being able to move it left and right and up and down. Um, that way you'd be able to get the, the different images you need with a certain amount of overlap in between. To help us with this we're going to use the Wii Macro's vertical stand. That gets us the shots from above uh, as well as having the movable stand at the bottom. Um, so let's have a look at it. You can see the Wii Macro rail up on top now and the camera is looking down on the subject. Now what this means is the subject can be just sitting there as long as it's not going to move as long as you bump it. Now down the bottom there's a movable stage with measurements for both axes and this is really useful for when you're doing the mosaic images. Now for convenience I've used Velcro to attach the controller to the upright here and that's not necessary you can leave it on the desk or wherever it's convenient for you. Now this is the Australian round 1966 50 cent piece. It was made out of silver and it was only in circulation for one year. I'm going to put it up on the stage here with this little bit of aluminium to, uh, to, to lift it off the ground slowly so that way the background will be out of focus. Uh, and then I'll take six stacks of images and make six decent images which I'll make, organize to be overlapped by around about 20%. That's going to be a two by three mosaic. Not really interesting video this, but you'll notice I'm using available light, diffused by the white sheets. Right, it's the next day now. Here are the six stacks and they've been processed in Helicon Focus. The next task that we've got is to mosaic them. Now I do this in Photoshop. Um, there are a number of packages that you can use to do that. They're all very similar and pretty much they're a black box. They just do their thing. So here's the final result. And it looks like a coin. So how is this better? Well, the answer is you can zoom in and in. Now, while I was taking shots with this the other day, um, I also got, some, uh, got a single image using a Tokina lens. It's a, a macro lens on my Pentax camera. Uh, it was using the same, the same location, so it was the same lighting conditions and stuff. That way I can compare the two photographs. So here they are side by side. On the right is the shot taken with my Pentax and the Tokina macro lens. On the left is Diego's Canon with the reversed stock lens. So let's zoom in on both of them. And more. And again. By now you can see that the one on the right is starting to lose detail that the one on the left is able to still record. I'll put some circles in. And to give full disclosure, this isn't really a fair comparison. Diego's Canon with the reversed lens was handicapped a bit because it was shooting in JPEG, not RAW. My Pentax with the Tokina lens was in RAW all the time. So let's sum up. You can get way closer to the reversed lens and that way you get heaps more magnification. But the focal plane becomes very narrow. So you have to solve that problem with the Wii Macro Rail. And we did that in the first video. But unless you're shooting a really, really small subject, you can't get it all into the frame. And so then you have to go to mosaicing. So you can see we're bringing in different solutions for problems that we encounter as we get more and more into this. You remember the creed, I want more? Yesterday I was tying myself into knots, trying to get good ambient light. And that was giving us problems. Ambient light means a couple of things. First of all, longer exposures, which gives you camera wobble problems. And also higher ISO, which you get noise in your photograph, which also degrades the photograph. So the next step is to use a flash, control a light, and you get something like this. But that's for next time. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, check out the Side Aerial Trading YouTube channel. Um, this video and all the other ones are gonna be on that. Um, find it, rate it, comment, we like comments. Also, we're planning some workshops in how to use this sort of equipment to get a decent uh, macro photograph. So keep an eye on the website for that. That's the Sidereal Trading website. That's sidereeltrading.com.au. We'll be putting information up about that. So that'll about do it. Thanks for watching.